Hi folks, now I'm going to chat about this BBC thing. Now before we start, always remember nobody so far is guilty unless they get proved in court or they admit to it, whatever. Just because claims are being made don't mean they're true. However, on the flip side of that, um, the mother has apparently, I believe it's the mother, made claims and presumably the son have seen the evidence that payments were paid via PayPal and pictures were sent from this person. So again, presumably the son has seen this, otherwise if it turns out to be false story, the son are going to end up with a dreadful reputation. So I can't imagine they haven't seen it, but that doesn't mean they have. So let's unpack everything. Like I said, no one's been found guilty. These, I believe, are just accusations. Um, now, my understanding is the person, the young person, is female. And I believe she's now aged 20, and they started, I believe, when she was 17. Now, while it's legal, my understanding is that, uh, you know, if, if this person um, was just having an affair, shall we say, and she was 16, my understanding is that le that's legal. There might be, I'm not sure if, if she's vulnerable, then that changes things legally. There might be other laws broken, but... The problem is that, well, you can't take our pictures of somebody under 18. That's the problem. That's where the, you've got the illegalities, which makes me wonder if such accusations are being made, why the police haven't been involved, even if the mother hasn't gone towards the police. You think the police might themselves take out an investigation case you know, I'd imagine that if somebody made that accusation against me and there was some slight evidence, the police would be asking to check my mobile and stuff um, straight away. But anyway, I don't know how the police system works, to be fair. Now, and also, I suppose maybe the police would fear being sued or something, I don't know. Now, so... Up till recently, folks, in the UK, it was actually legal for topless pictures at 16. It's why you may question why the um, papers used to publish um, topless 16 year old girls. They've changed the law, and that's not that long ago. I'm not sure when the law changed, but I think it was around the year 2000. I might be wrong. Um, could have been before then or after. I can't remember. Time flies. Now, so you've got a question there. Does this presenter, I believe it's a presenter, would they know this person's 17? Because if they thought they were 20, then I don't know, there might be um, a justified reason there. But if they definitely knew this person was 17, I presume they're intelligent enough to know that that would have been an offence, blah, blah, blah. The, the second question I think that's worth asking is, does this person know the money that's allegedly sent? There's reports up to 35k, possibly more. Did they know it were being used for this girl being used on drugs? Remember, 35k for drugs is, is going to kill you, basically. It's going to do huge damage. I've seen people who've spent a fortune on such the same drug and they've had lungs collapse and all sorts. It's very damaging. I mean, we've even seen, um, you know, TV stars where the nose have collapsed, I think, from sniffing it and stuff. It's a very damaging physical drug. It can block your artery. Well, not the drug. Impure, obviously. I think the purity, I'm not sure. But people have died from blocked arteries and stuff because I think it's been watered down with chalk and all sorts. Hang on, there might be someone in front. So if there are, I'll leave it quick. But, again, I mean, there's other questions. Is this the only person? If it's true, is any other people, youngsters or even adults, even if it's an adult and they contact them, uh, you know, there's there's be questions there, especially if they've been sending pictures from the BBC. It's, and if they knew, I mean... 
if they knew the money was being spent on drugs and you see there's questions how they met I mean you know did they meet online did they meet in person and has there been more than just pictures you know I mean maybe they met up I mean you know questions there is is this person paid for more than just pictures and again is this with other people or just one person and you know you'd think anyone with a brain you know brain cell wouldn't be whatever you wouldn't have done it from the B but you was then real name or whatever but there's so many questions there which will be interesting folks it'll be interesting to see what comes out of it um, if it hadn't been for the pictures and the drug use I'm not sure there would have been a you know it might have been well yeah probably not ethical or morality for a presenter with a beeb especially if uh, I believe people are saying he's married um, but on this occasion you've got several things there like I say um, I mean there is like I said some I mean one of the things I don't know if the police would prosecute or not if they did have a picture of a 17 year old I presume it'd be if he was aware I don't know to be honest how to go um, in theory it's a, well it is a crime I mean but then you get the grey areas don't you where um, you've got the things like um, the naked bike rides where if there was somebody under 7, 18 on them and they're naked and got to remember you've got thousands upon thousands of people stood taking pictures of all these people they could in theory everyone's could be now on the phone having illegal pictures that's why I've always you know said that those on these naked bike rides they you know have, they seem to leave it open unless they've changed it they, they seem to say anyone can enter and I've always thought should only be for 18 year olds and above because of the, this it's uh, even if they were clothed in under 18 I think it's a uh, gets to dodgy area like I said because people are taking pictures and they know people are taking pictures and they know they end up on Twitter and stuff so potentially because people download these in the millions and they post them on all sorts of social media sites you, you could potentially have you know if somebody like I said isn't under 18 that's your problem but in this case if he knows this person's was 17 I think then there's a problem legally um, I mean the fact is if they know that this person's on drugs I don't know what the legal state there is because then you've got a dodgy situation I mean that's even if it's an adult a 20 year old I still see that as dodgy if you know they're using the money for drugs and it seems a lot of money to pay for nudie pictures I mean there might be more to it than like I said things may be more dark than we we can imagine there might be things you know because I said 35 grand just for somebody nudie pictures is extreme um, and if you know they're spending the money on drugs well you know I think that's literally a career ending thing to do but we'll see um, Anyway, is that somebody coming? No. I don't know if it's going to rain later. At the moment it's boiling hot, but it's due to pour down. I'm trying to do some vids this week for YouTube, and I don't know if I'll get a chance. Look at the massive puddle there. Um, but yes, folks, it'll be interesting. And how, Oh, someone's coming, so I'll leave it there. Alright then, bye.